Time for the wraparound. Here's Sean Maloney. Yes, thank you very much, Nick McArdle. Right, so folks, we're huge fans of Melbourne Rebels. Good guy Laurie Weeks here on the wraparound. So in his honour, I'm going to keep this spot punchy tonight, kicking it off at a grassroots level where we were treated to some superb rugby across the weekend. To Manly Oval first for a five-star five-pointer. This was a cracking local derby. Here comes Sammy Lane firing a 40-metre pass. Taft, you love your grassroots. You'd have loved this try as well. Oh, jeez. Maybe you didn't. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> Harry Bergelin putting it away. Hey. Mr. Daniel, we are going to Brisbane now. Here come the brothers with the Tong and Thor. Oh. Uh-oh, boy. Kernsey, oh, give a us a bunch. shout. And I love a size 50 short that he's wearing. Actually, size wow. 60, unwashed. there's another case. 60 unwashed. That now we're going to Newcastle. This is Marty Lesua. He's 47 years old. Who's that bloke? There he goes. So Marty Lesua, the father of uh, <laughs> Terence CUC from New Zealand and the NRL. Thanks to Gareth at Bar TV for that spot. Right up, we're on to our long-time favourite hours at HQ, Namani Nandolo, the lovable big fella who is a massive fan of the movies Pitch Perfect 1 and 2. <laughs> yes, he is. Just about uh, the best winger in the world at the moment as well, and here's why. Taft, talk us through big names. How oh, hard is he to drop? I'll tell you what, it's uh, like hitting a brick wall, really. Uh, thank God he... Uh, has made that. the venture back to uh, Crusaders because That's he's so Terry absolutely Black. smashing them in Japan as well. So yeah, and he, he, yeah, here he is this putting one. away Matt Todd. He's on fire, big names. We're a huge fan. He is going gangbusters. We're playing him at the World Cup. We are, Marto. Yeah. Righto. Yeah. We're going to uh, stay at Trafalgar like. Park for the moment and yeah. take another look at Ma'anonu. And we're certain the bloke's shoulders are made of granite or dragon glass or valerian seal or some such. And evidently they have a mind of their own. How else do you explain this? Fellas... What's doing? Oh, that was Marta, you saw it live. What is he doing? It was a pathetic attempt at a bit of rollerball. <laughs> hey, 2013, the shoulders, the shoulders started working overtime and went rogue again on Perry Weepu. Way back then, look out, Perry! Oh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty oh. ugly. So, uh, big mutter. Uh-uh. The shoulders have gone rogue. Is there a yellow card for that? Uh, that was uh, play on. Now, uh, Top of Super wow. Rugby made a brief cameo wow. in two equally sexy locations at the weekend with Canberra and Nelson showcasing a couple of six packs and some shredded delts and tries. This is kind of funny. Marta, you asked for this. Yeah, this is my highlight. The, when the man bra comes out, Nick White was, uh, was proud, but this one here, look at play on. Watch him. I'll have a go. No, I won't. I want to get involved. (laughs) (laughs) He'll go all night, Taylor. No kit, no dramas. (laughs) He's still still going. A nightmare to commentate without a number. (laughs) Oh, very good. Monsieur Taylor. Now, righto, before I go, a quick word to the mascots who fronted for the Brummies v Bulls game on Friday night and then did absolutely nothing. That was a world-class mascot lineup, and you blew it just standing around and such. So now I want to give you a little refresher. Here's how the professionals do. Take note, gang. I'm taking you back in the time capsule. Oh, Carmen, oh, he jumped out of the Black Hawk and Commando rolls. That's how you do it if you're a mascot. The bull on the slingshot with a T-shirt. That looks like fun. I'm on board. Brumby Jack all jacked up. The Highlander ready to take down a couple of White Walkers. I don't even know what that is, but he's having a wow of a time. in over. And here comes the shark. That's how you do it, mascots. Righto, I'll, uh, I'll let you pick that up. Nick McCardle on the other side. That is to trip down memory lane. What about Ooh, the, what about the topless cavewoman in the cage in France? You remember that one from a couple of years ago? You no recollection of that, that no. whatsoever. You got that as a screensaver. Thank of course you. you're I'll see you guys later. <laughs>